Hey, uh, you just had an anniversary a couple days ago. I did, yeah. Two Earlier years from winning month. that title. Did you think about that at all? When uh, The day that it happened, did anybody remind you of it? Uh-uh. No? It's been, uh, I mean, two years seems like a short amount of time, but you've had a ton of UFC fights in two years. I mean, what's that experience been like? Kind of just, you, I mean, you hit this thing running and you haven't really stopped. Yeah, you know, the UFC has really exceeded my expectations in terms of how often they would let me fight. You know, I figured with 600-plus fighters uh, on in, in, on the roster, you know, I probably wouldn't get to fight as much as I want. But, you know, I think that they uh, like the way I fight. I put on entertaining fights. And so, you know, they, uh, and I'll answer the phone on short notice. So yeah. I think they kind of rewarded me with, you know, this guy fell out. You want to fight him? Okay, yeah, do this, do that, and okay, you can fight again. And so, uh, man, it's just been an awesome experience. I mean, that's how you started your career. I mean, it was short notes, like it was a month after you won that title, right? And you just jumped Yeah, right yeah. So, you know, I guess I got a good rapport with the UFC yeah. in, that, in that regard. So, you know, uh, I live in the gym. I stay in the gym. I'm always training. So, you know, taking a fight on short notice really isn't, you know, a really big deal for me, you know. Even at 85, I can take a short notice, but I think <clears> I made my, my debut against Natal on like 10 days notice, uh, a month, less than a month after fighting mm -hmm. for the for the LFA belt. So, you know, I, I can get it done at any weight class, and, uh, you know, I always answer the call. But when you came over here, you figured maybe a couple fights a year, but it's been like four. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't expect to fight four times last year. <clears throat> um, definitely looking to do so again this year, um, And but, you know, at the end of the day, it comes down to winning, and this is very much so. What have you done for me lately, sport? So, you know, regardless of my willingness to to fight anybody, whenever uh, I got to start stringing together wins. Yeah. So, not to say that you're you're kind of backed into a corner, but nobody likes to be on a skid. How, what has that done for you, from a kind of from a mental standpoint, from a preparation standpoint, getting ready for this one? Man, you know, I think I'm in the best place mentally and physically that I've been in a very long time. You know. Um, some of those losses are due to output issues. I think we've corrected those issues. So uh, I'm really going to put together uh, combinations, not necessarily looking for the knockout, but I think you know touching them a few times and peppering them up will open up opportunities for the knockout, uh, which is how I plan on ending the fight, anyways. Um, and you know, a couple of those fights were close fights too. I mean, do you do you use that as? I mean, can you take moral victories out of stuff like that and say, yeah, I'm on a skid, but you know, like one judge goes the other way and, and I'm it's not nearly as bad as people think it on paper you know I, I don't do the whole moral victory thing you know I think that uh, if a fight goes to a decision uh, two of those fights that went to decision uh, you know Machida and Theodoro you know I wasn't even breathing hard at the end of the uh, at the end of the fight uh, so that means that I didn't do enough I didn't push the pace enough uh, my output wasn't where it needed to be so you know, that's on me, regardless of how the judges see it, regardless of how the fans see it, regardless of how I see it, you know, that's what it is. So, um, you know, I'm definitely to, to blame, if you will, for uh, taking those losses. Talk to me a little bit about uh, Morian, what he brings to the table, what he's good at, what you need to watch out for on Saturday. Um, I think he's going to be really desperate for the takedown. You know, he's going to try and bully me up against the cage. Um, you know, he kind of tries the same takedown every time. Uh, watching Manafield's fight, um, try to push him up against the cage. Uh, not a whole lot of technique getting to the ground, but he's a super, you know, he's really big, he's really strong, uh, and he's going to be desperate because his striking really isn't, you know, the best. So uh, he's definitely going to look to get it there. Because of your football background, are you a film guy? Do you go back and watch film on, on, on your opponents before the fights? I mean, I've watched every film, every fight that this guy has on YouTube, Fight Pass, and everything. So... Now, I'm fairly confident that I know his tendencies. See, I don't think that he's fought a lefty, uh, so I think it's going to kind of confuse him a little bit, uh, you know, with the direction that I move and the angles that I cut. You know, it's kind of opposite of the guys that he's been fighting. So um, I think he's going to have a really hard time getting to the ground. There's a lot of fighters who just say that flat out, don't look at film. They say, ah, leave that to my coaches. They tell me what to do. I just go in there and fight. But... I mean, could you ever see yourself in a position like that where you would where, where you would be like that, where you just wouldn't look at tape on a guy? I mean, I've definitely studied some opponents more than others uh, just because like, Machida was really tricky and crafty. So I watched a lot of film on Machida. Um, but, you know, with Thiago Santos, you kind of know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to come forward and he's going to throw bombs. And, uh, 
you know that's what we did so um some 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 guys have different uh fighting styles and make them a little more tricky uh to to game plan for um with Vinicius you know I don't think there's any you know trick or anything that he's going to try and use his game plan has been the same every single one of his fights um he'll take a beating uh so it'll be on me to, to get him out of there you said you want to get him out of there with with your hands and get a knockout. That's the best way to put an end to this kid? Man, you know, uh, knocking somebody out is cool. Me, personally, I think a submission is a better win because uh, that person is saying that I want out. You know, if you hit somebody hard enough and they go to sleep, that's not a voluntary thing. That's just about what the body does if it gets hit, you know, in the right spot. So I think if you submit somebody, uh, that's them saying that they want out. They don't want to do this anymore. And, uh, you know, that that's that to me, that's the best way to win. Uh, but my best chance of winning is uh, the striking aspect of the game. So um, that's what I plan on doing. Appreciate it, man. Good luck Saturday. Thank you. Thanks, boss.